Today we are starting on part one of the shop build. The entire shop you see here was built for probably under $500, and that includes everything. This is what it looks like currently, but let's go back to the beginning and see how it was built using almost all recycled materials. Okay, so what we've done here is we've taken two boxes. They're actually the back of two box trucks, and we've laid them out next to each other um, as close to parallel as we can get them. And we've bolted two pressure treated 2x12s to the side of them. They have five lag bolts going through, and then on top of those 2x12s, we have laid stringers for the roof. And then on top of these stringers is going to go a metal roof. And then on the back here, there's going to be a back wall built with a couple windows and a door. And then there's going to be a big swinging door on the front. All of the stringers are hurricane strapped and the big 2x12 was lag bolted through. I believe there are five lag bolts going through. So there's one there. And if we look on this side, we have one right there, two, three, four, and five. So these 2x12s are not going anywhere. They would have to lift these entire containers off the ground. There's the other side right here. Um, the two containers are slightly different lengths. So as you can see, the one side was hanging off, but that's okay because I'm going to build a short wall to cover that. Okay, so we're up here on the roof. As you can see, we're starting to get the roofing panels laid out. Um, we're using metal roofing. This is actually all leftover from a previous job on a house. Um, so we're working with what we have. All the panels are kind of cut slightly different lengths, um, but we're trying to lay them out so that we have enough to finish the entire roof. As you can see, the first two panels are um, just held on with a couple screws and we have finished one side getting it sealed down to the top of the first uh, pod or box here uh, so that's a piece of three-quarter pressure treated plywood and it's sealed all the way down this whole edge to the top of the ceiling uh, and then it was just painted white just to kind of help it blend in a little bit better So we're working on the back wall here. Um, what we got going on is we got five four by fours here that are gonna get through bolted to the beam on the back over there. The one that runs all the way across the roof. And they're gonna be dug into the ground. And then the two by fours are gonna go horizontally on there. Uh, and I'm gonna be putting these two windows in and Probably something else that opens a little more air through. But uh, we'll see when we start putting this up here. Alright, so the first pole's in. As you can see, you can see with the sun right now. Top is through bolted up here. Through the beam that holds the roof. That goes down to the ground and that is buried uh, about three feet in the ground. So. Got four more to do and then we can start putting the wall in the back here. I decided to do four posts across the back and that is because of the width of the window. We have to have enough width to put the window between the posts. Um, so it has to be four posts. Uh, I think that's fine because this is not going to be a load bearing wall. This roof can fully support itself without the wall even here. Um, so that should be a problem. These are going to be playing strong. Here's a little tip if you guys want to figure out where the bottom of the post is supposed to go, you take a string, just stick a temporary screw up in there, put the weight to the bottom of it, and if it'll stop swinging here, wherever the bottom of this weight points, that's where the center of your hole needs to be. Let's get the last pole in and then go from there. I'm working away on this back wall. Uh, we got four posts in, four main posts, all buried about three feet in the ground. 
Uh, I put this board across the bottom. The top of that board is where the floor in the shop is going to be. So that means that the wall will overhang about six inches past the floor. No water can get under there. Uh, and what I've decided to do, you, you can see I got one window window framed and just kind of held them in with a couple screws just to see where it's going. Other window is going to go right here. Um, and then this opening right here, which you can see I've added another 4x4, four four. It doesn't go into the ground, it's just through bolted. That is going to be a door on the back of the building. So you can come in that door, open the big door, this whole front section is going to be one massive door that swings up makes like a line kind of thing. So I'm going to get the other window framed up uh, and then go from there. So update on the shop wall. As you can see, both window frames are in uh, and all the wood is in to support the sheets that are going on the back. This first sheet is on, just held up with a couple screws here, got it cut around the window, got it cut to fit the side of this wall here because that is not a straight surface and it's notched around the board up there and notched around the window. So now I've got about two more sheets to put up uh, and then they come back off. This window's got to go in uh, because this window seals behind the board, that one seals on the outside Working with three windows here, so but get two more boards cut, put on, tested, make sure they fit, pull them all off, seal everything up, put them back on, screw them on, and should be done with this part of the back wall and then move on to the door. Okay, so we're getting started here on the layout with stringers for the floor. Uh, as you can see, we've got some pretty warped boards in here, uh, but we're working with what we got. This is all we got, and it was free, so we're going to use it. Uh, we have a support beam in the middle with two 4x4s and, and then another support beam on the back. All these stringers are 2x6s, and then you can see we have two 4x6s. Uh, those are going to be more load bearing if you were to drive a car or something heavier into the shop. Uh, on the other side of the stringers that aren't finished, we're going to have 2x8s and 4x8s as the load bearing uh, for a car because ideally you wouldn't pull a car all the way into the shop. Um, and now we've gone ahead and laid out some of the plywood. Um, all of the boards underneath are pressure treated. These pieces of plywood are not pressure treated, but they are a pretty good distance off the ground. They have three quarter inch tongue and groove. Uh, once again, left over from a job site at a house. Uh, we were able to pick them up for free. And we're gonna get this section of the floor laid out. Doors finished, opens, closes nicely. And we're gonna start after this, start on the stringers for the second section of the floor here.
Okay, so I decided to give the outside a fresh coat of white paint to cover up that ugly wood we had under there. Um, so the outside of this wall is finished. Inside, all of the plywood is down. We got everything sealed up on the outside. Uh, the door is finished. Next up is I'm going to paint the floors with this paint here just to kind of protect them, uh, keep oil stains, stuff like that, out of the wood when working. Um, so yeah, let's get on to painting the floor. Okay, so we've gone ahead and got the short four foot wall on the left side built uh, and the door frame, the big door that's going to open into a roof kind of awning. Uh, that is framed up and installed with two bolts through bolted through the side, but it allows it to pivot still. So now we've got to get the um, same roof panels as we use on the top are going on the front of this door. Uh, and finish it on the short four foot section. So now the roof panels are on the door. That's partially open right now. It's going to open almost 90 degrees, obviously not exactly 90 degrees because we want water to run off still. So here is the door open, temporarily propped up on legs for now. Um, we're going to be adding uh, an electric motor to open the door automatically, but for now this is how it sits. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like the project and you want to see more like this, be sure to give a thumbs up. Uh, right now, this is how the shop currently sits uh, with a few things done added on, but stay tuned for a part two. I will be updating on the future improvements to the shop.